Hello, my name is Rob Blesson, and I specialize in uh, refurbishing Next hardware. This is a Next Cube, and it was Steve Jobs' interim company between his stints at Apple, and they manufactured these from 1988 through February 9th of 1993, the very day I started work for a company called Alembic Systems International and we sold next third-party products and uh, resold hardware as well and believe it or not it's been 20 years and I'm still selling next products so I really know my stuff or at least I think I do <laughs> but at any rate I thought I'd give you a little tour of this one because it's kinda cool this uh, cube is actually running version 0.9 and these cubes were kind of unique um, in that they didn't have hard drives initially. They had a 256 meg optical drive and unfortunately most of them do not work. So um, it was Canon's first venture into optical discs. This is what they look like. In fact, the, the very first optical disc in the world, and they thought it would be the future. Of course, CD-ROMs and so forth uh, definitely changed a lot. What's unique about this system is it's running version 0.9 of Next Step. And um, for most of you that know Next Step, oh, that flicker is because I'm under fluorescent lights had to do some tweaking on this old monitor, it's 25 years old now but uh, got it uh, fairly straight once it warms up that little waviness on the left side clears up and soon we'll get a login screen there we go and this is version 0.9 of next step so we'll log in using root this one's for a customer that uh, has a nice Mac collection and he wanted to add a cube because it's pretty significant Tim Berners-Lee one of my customers actually invented the HTTP standard and the World Wide Web using a Next uh, with version 0.9 most of the Next people out there will see that it's a little bit different uh, this was actually the very first version I believe they released I think there may have been one or two versions earlier 0.8 and 0.7 but I haven't actually got those up and running because I don't have a version of them but I'm pretty proud to have this one working and it's on a 68030 25 megahertz processor has 16 megs of RAM I installed it on a 426 meg Seagate drive and I used special software cloning tools to get it to work um, it's not easy <laughs> at any rate if anyone needs prior art patent litigation, early version and next step, a cube running an early, early version, I'm your guy. So at any rate, the uh, recycler is actually a black hole, and my company's Black Hole Incorporated. And we've been offering alternatives to the Windows operating system since 1993. So I, I do everything from um, Next boxes to Open Step boxes. I can do Linux. And I can even install the Evil Empire software if needed. Um, now if you go down to here, let's see. There's a couple different apps. There's the developer. There's a bunch of demos. So it's pretty cool. This is actually an app that uh, Steve Jobs developed uh, when he was at Atari. You may know Breakout, but it's kind of cool. It's a little uh, game utility. Um, Mathematica was actually bundled with version 0.9, which is kind of neat. There's a word processor over here. You just drag and drop stuff over to the dock. If you want to add it, you just drop it on. It's similar to Mac OS X. But at any rate, I won't talk your ear off. Um, I can be reached at 303-741-9998 uh, and hope you enjoy the video. Next Step version 0.9. Have a good evening.
Oh, and Bella says hi. That's my cat. One of my cats. 